Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Omni Factory. And today, um, well last week what did we make? We made some more uh, machines. We made the macerator, we made the alloy smelter, I think. And I introduced my today's episode chest to try and make myself a little bit more um, streamlined and stuff. Uh, what did I do in between? Um, I have, I've made lithium batteries for these because we were given four lithium, ba empty lithium batteries for one of the early reward quests. And then um, um, I was watching a video, somebody, somebody else was playing Omni Factory and they were like, oh yeah, you can put lithium batteries in here, let's make them. And I was like, oh, okay. Because I don't think it was ever, I don't know if it was a, if it was ever stated. But, um, so yeah, so I've put in these lithium batteries, they're in here now. They're filling up. So hopefully that will give us a bit more on the steam dynamo. Um, what else did I do? I did some enchanting on, um, at least on my pickaxe. I think I gave it uh, sharpness. Although I don't know if that really works for a, for a pickaxe. I don't know. I'm getting really rubbish enchantments, to be honest. Um, what else? I went ahead and I went and got 12 obsidian. I just made them the old fashioned way. I know you can use the, not the alloy smelter, the fluid. There was a fluid something that we made last week, a uh, fluid solidifier, but it did say it took a lot of time. So I didn't, I actually, I should take it out and have a look, to be honest. But I just went and mined obsidian and got that. But we need the obsidian to make dark steel. So let's go back. I don't know why I'm pacing up and down. Let's go back and let's start today's episode. So, like I said, I completed that claim my omni pennies and I mean that was pretty simple and actually now that we've um, now that we've got that we can go ahead and where is oh no here it is the obsidian furnace which we've we've already done because I made it and didn't realize that you know it was a thing so hopefully if we take it or oh, you can make carpet covered trap doors which is pretty cool all right let's try it out oh there you go so that's that um crouch and put it on but yes you can make carpet covered trap doors which looks really nice and you can color them as well it's just that I had white wool on me, so that's what I used. Okay, let's get those Omni pennies. Okay, we're doing pretty good. And now, um, dark steel here. So it says steel alloyed with obsidian makes dark steel, which is needed for many of the machines in Ender IO and applied energistics. So they want 12 dark steel ingots. So we need to make steel, which is coal dust and raw iron in the alloy smelter. And then dark steel is obsidian with the steel in the alloy smelter. So let's do that and that and let that work. Uh, how is that? Yeah, that's going through the battery. Okay. So we'll leave that working. What's the next thing they want us to do? Oh, um, I don't know if you remember at the end of last week's episode, I had some stuff in the bottom and I couldn't remember what I, what I went and put it, why I'd put it there. I knew it was for a machine, but I couldn't remember what machine it was. In actual fact, it is, where is it? The electrolyzer. And I wanted a basic electrolyzer. So we can also do that. Hold on, let's have a look. Uh, 
from two circuits, tin cable, four gold wire and glass and an LV machine hub, hub hull. So I think, oh no, I don't have any glass. Um, the circuits I've got here, you want a tin cable. A tin cable and a piece of glass. Okay, and that was electrolyzer. Electro. No? No, electro. L. Ah, oh, we want a basic electrolyzer. There you go. I have no idea what it does. Uh, what's this on the end, the macerator? We need more cable. Do we have more cable? We do have more cable. Um, can we go this way? Electrolyzer is here. Ooh, you need tanks. Empty. Click with an empty fluid container to fill it f Okay. Can we see? Okay. What's it tell you? Electrolyzers use electricity to separate items into their both basic components. For example, you can break down water into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas, or break down clay dust into sodium dust, silicon dust, lithium dust, and aluminium dust. Okay. So we need clay dust. I don't even know if I have any clay. Let's have... Uh, is that clay? Yes. Do you want 12 or was it 7? I want 7. Alright, so we need the macerator. Alright, has this finished? That's finished. Um, right. We ended up doing one more, but that's fine. So you got clay dust. And then it's doing, oh, it's working slowly. Okay. Oh, there's the progress off in this top left hand corner. So I don't have to stare at it like, you know, like a mad woman. Yeah, 99. Okay. Aluminium dust, sodium, silicon, and lithium. Wow. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's a cool machine. Claim our omnipennies. Oh, where did that come from? Okay, um, well, we'll get there eventually. Um, okay, where's my list? Because I do have a list written out. See, I told you I'm becoming more efficient and more, um, more streamlined. I've got my obsidian and I've got the basic electrolyzer. Okay, so dark steel. That is the alloy smelter. So, steel and obsidian gives us dark steel. Alright, so that can... let's empty out some of our pockets while that's cooking. Um, let's put the conductive iron back in this chest. I probably could have put one there as well maximize our space um the dusts let's put the dust down in this corner uh let's see aluminum aluminium uh pulsating dust we need that obsidian dust i just did that um to see if the obsidian would go through the macerator it does um tin dust
obsidian, coal, copper. Any other dust? Well, the pulsating dust I will hold on to because we need that. And silicon. Okay, and get rid of these resonating redstone crystals. They've been in my offhand forever. Oh, we got more dust over here, I think. Okay. I'll move those across at some point. Is that dust? Is, yeah, I have quite a few dust. I think I'll start putting the dust on this side in these jungle drawers if I use up this side. Okay, have you finished? You're done eight. Okay, it's not bad. Um, okay, we are on dark steel. Okay, 10, you want 12, so we're almost done. I made some bookshelves, so I've got some enchanted books in there. And I think the quest book is in there as well. Are you going to, t oh, there you go. Yeah, there's an enchanted book, and what's in this one? quest book and two and three enchanted books oh, I think this or oh, do I have to okay I have to click the side if you click the side like the edge if you're looking at the edge and right click you get the inventory okay you have to be pointing at the book and off center if I look at it straight on and right click okay I have to be literally pointing at the book because I think I had this in I think I might have had this bookshelf in another let's play and I couldn't get the books out of it and in the end I just ended up sticking it in a drawer somewhere because it just used to frustrate me okay we have some dark steel ding thank you and let's get some more omni pennies I'm really getting fed up of omni pennies I want stuff I like getting stuff okay pulsating mesh that's the next one I wanted to do so carbon mesh which is string and coal dust and then pulsating mesh which is pulsating dust and carbon mesh right so let's have a look uranite dust gives us pulsating dust and they want how many four they want one okay so let's go and smelt this. Did I put the the thing back in? No, I didn't. There's one there. And one there. All right, we need string. Do I actually have string though? Oh, I do. All right, I think it's four string. carbon mesh, four string and one coal dust and that's in the alloy smelter alright coal dust is that one yes okay coal dust and string and that should give us our carbon mesh and then the pulsating mesh is pulsating dust, which is urbanite dust. Oh, ender pearl dust. How'd you get ender pearl dust? Ender pearl powder. Oh, you can pulverize ender pearl down into dust. That's interesting. Right, so let's smelt. We only want one, actually we've already got one pulsating dust, okay, that's fine. And, oh you need to put four, okay. Well, let's put three more to smelt then. Um, urbanite dust. Okay, that's that. Maybe I should move the furnace over here too, to be honest. And then put 
the carbon mesh and four pulsating met plus pulsating dust and then that should give us our pulsating mesh ding thank you and more omni pennies all right so from there we've got st stimulating mod stimulating mobs no simulating mobs What's that? A simulation chamber allows you to farm mobs in a totally environmentally and server friendly way. Simulated mobs can be used to provide you with many of the basic resources you need and although it requires a fairly substantial amount of power, the time power and time invested before you start seeing solid returns. Okay. So how do you make oh okay. Circuits Dark steel machine uh, words hard. Dark steel machine hull. Okay. There's dark steel around a machine. Okay, we can we can make this. I'll make it. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with it. I've never done deep mob learning. I've seen it in other packs, but I've never actually done it. Okay. That will be something interesting. All right, have I done everything else? Now, also on today's list, the last thing is uh, the gear mold. What's this? Ender pump and ender tanks. Because I'm trying to move... I'm, oh, I haven't done any of these, although I'm not sure what we need these for. Why is the leadstone jetpack coming off the steam dynamo? Okay. Alright, I don't know why they put it in the beginning, because they've just said uh, it's kind of early for you to be even looking at this. So I'm not even going to look at, I'm not even going to do them. I was kind of wondering if I should, but I'm not going to do the jetpacks, because you don't need to. Pressurized fluid, uh, okay, we, yeah, those we can leave. All right, so ender pump and ender tanks, that's what I was looking for. Great for gathering large amounts of lava and later on oil. Ender pumps use RF to function. Ender tanks do not require power, but simply store fluid. All ender tanks on the same channel, denoted by three colours on the top, have the same contents, essentially allowing for instant long-range transfer of fluid. Try setting up one ender tank by an ender pump positioned over lava and the other back at your base. You'll have more lava than you know what to do with without any boring bucketing. You'll need a way to power the ender pump though, maybe a magnetic dynamo on site. Okay, that is going to be, that is, that will probably be next week's one because those are, those are things that I've heard of and I've seen and I've never done. So magmatic dynamos, I have some, I know some people who swear by them and it's probably a good way of generating power, but I don't know how they work. So let's go back to our gear mold and then we can maybe start looking at that I don't know let's let's have a look so electrical steel goes on the electrolyzer okay this yeah it's a lot to take in honestly um okay the mold gear was the last thing on my list okay most gears require being smelted inside an alloy for or alloy furnace using a gear mold at least you can get an extruder until you can get an extruder at MV power levels. Okay, empty shape. Oh, we did that, didn't we? We did that last week. I'm pretty sure we did. Oh, we made a block. Okay. All right, they want a... Oh, it's, it's the Death Star again. <laughs> that, that never ceases to make me smile honestly 
Right. Um, right. So we want a blank. So that's steel, a file, and a hammer. Right. So we need to make some more steel. Um, did we make as a smelter compressor? The compressor makes wires. The macerator, wire mill, fluid solidifier. Oh, we didn't make the the mixer that mixes two things. We didn't make the compressor, did we? Not the is the compressor. I think that's what we were supposed to. What I kept saying I was going to make. No, not the compressor. No, this makes plates. This makes plates. Oh, is that? A, there's a block mold. Um, the compressor is the one that makes plates. Okay, I'm confusing myself. Let's make some steel. All right, we need some uh, raw iron. We have enough for a stack. And we need coal dust. That's coal dust, I believe it is. Okay, let's take out. Oh, only wanted one stack of that. Alright, so if we put you in and put you in, that should start making steel. And then we can put those away. You're going, you're full. Because now all the batteries are full. Yeah, that's cool. Right. And then while we're looking at, while we're waiting for this, let's have a look at the ender tank. And then I can work out if I really want to do it. Um, see what we need to do. All right, ender tank. A block of ender pearl. Ah, okay. Dynamo, uh, everything. Okay, do we have... Do we have any ender pearls? We have nine, so we have one block of ender pearl. That means I'm going to have to go and find endermen. That sounds like... Okay, now I see... No, wrong thing. Now I see why they talk about... No, but... Eh... Yeah, the, the mob simulator. Because that is on a lower level than the ender pump. Okay, let's have a look at the simulation chamber, because I really don't want to go and... Right, we need more mesh. So we need four more mesh. Uh, string, let's take that out. What dust is that? Oh, magnetite dust. And... Do I still have the... Yes, I have those. Alright, so... Pulsating mesh. Is that... And you need four... Four pulsating dust for one mesh. We need to make three more, so we need 30 dust that's 10 I don't think we have any urbanite dust there but I think we have some over here yes so if I take out a stack and halve it put you back put you back and well, we can leave that there that's fine. Have you finished doing what you're doing? All right, that's enough for now. That is enough for now. Um, no, not in the alloy smelter. We need... So yeah, we could put that back in. Sorry, put that back in until we're ready for it. This needs to be smelted. All 
All right, and then no. And the carbon mesh is four string, one cold dust for one carbon mesh. So we need twelve string. and coal dust that's coal dust isn't it yeah two three four we know we need three all right now you can come out all right so 12 string and four coal dust Three cold dust because we've already made one we need three more okay that's that and then we want the urbanite urbanite dust oh but not urbanite dust pulsating dust all right you got those and it's three keep looking at I keep pressing the wrong thing four of those and one of those all right um that's 12 where did I get 30 from why do I think I need 10 I don't know I don't know four and three. Why did I think I needed ten? I don't know, but I mean, we need the, the dust anyway, the urbanite dust, but I don't know why I thought I needed... Did I miss out a bit? I don't know. I don't think I've missed out a step. I've just gone and thoroughly confused myself now. This is urbanite. Put that there. I've just gone and thoroughly confused myself. Okay, yeah, just confused myself. Why did I think I needed 30? I don't know. Uh, urbanite. Coal dust is there. Speodamine dust, whatever that is. Put that back. Okay. And what else is in my inventory? Oh, vanadium mag magnetite dust. Oh, that's blue. Is that it too? No. Right. All right, so we've got four of those. We want three circuits, a dark, sh dark steel machine hull. Okay, so we want eight. There's steel, dark steel. So we want eight of those. And obsidian, did I put back the obsidian? I must have done. I don't remember doing it. Is that obsidian? Yes. Eight. All right, obsidian and steel to give us dark steel. We made how much? How many dark? How many? How much dark steel did we make before? And where did I put it? That's the next thing. <sighs> Oh, I don't know. It's there somewhere. Oh, could it be in this chest? No. This one? No. I don't know what I did with it.
All right, let's take these two out. Put these in the compressor. And they should make plates. Yes. See, it's already starting to get a little less grindy. I mean, it still is grindy, but at least you don't have to be making like three million different things in workstations in order to get things done. And then between episodes, I'm going to have to look at getting ender pearls. So we're going to have to go on a on a hunting spree somewhere, or at least Wally's. Well, I'm going to. I'm not going to take you guys along because you know what's going to happen. I'm just going to get ended up being slaughtered. Although you might, you guys might want to actually see that. Uh, seven. Are we missing one? Yes, we are. Okay. Uh, let's go get an LV machine. Oh, there's one in there. LV machine hull. Alright, the hull in the middle, the dark steel plates all round, and then was it a mob? No, not a mob grinder. It's not dark mob? What's it called? What's the name of the mod? Deep mod. Deep mob, not dark. Right. So, simulation. So you want three circuits and a pane of glass. Uh, circuits, I have circuits in here. I keep making circuits all the time because they seem to be the, um, the base of everything. Piece of glass. Three circuits and that. Okay. I say you do need a lot of power. Let's put that there. It's not going to be getting anything. It's probably going to suck everything out of our of our thing. But oh wow! Please insert a data model to in, to begin the simulation. Um, what's that? I don't know. Okay. So, Enderman data model. Let's say we want to do that. We need a blank data model, Ender pearls, extra, extraterrestrial matter. Where on earth? Okay. So, they've told us about this thing for what? Just to let us know that this thing exists but not necessarily that anything we're going to need now okay well we've made it it's there um claim our omni nickels okay that's for the overworldian matter okay what do you need to make a blank data model. I probably should have looked at that. Fine gold wire. Okay, so all of that is pretty doable. But that is definitely something that we can look at. Well, next week I want to do the magmatic dynamo because we need more power. And I am writing it down. Okay, that's written down. That's what we're going to look at. All the... that stuff. Because I suspect that's going to give us... Um, it's going to take me all episode to get things done. But today was pretty productive. We made some more machines. And we are making our way through that first page so we can start producing because if we get a magmatic dynamo 
that means we're pretty set for life in terms of um, power production because you don't run out of magma. So I think that would be pretty cool. So I think that's what we're going to do next week. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.